Hi guys, I'm going to quickly show you how to drop a full stack of CT images onto a single PowerPoint slide so you can scroll through them during your presentations as if you're using the radiology computer at work. First of all, you need a set of DICOM images. So most hospital radio radiology departments, you can stick a USB stick in your computer, uh, hit save as and select a series of images to download. Uh, often that will strip the patient data out, but it doesn't always. Uh, if it doesn't, you should be a bit careful taking patient labeled information home on your USB sticks. Uh, you can anonymize it using this program called Osirix. And you also need this program to convert the DICOM images into JPEGs, which is a crucial step. So get your images, get Osirix, basically you go import, import files, and you upload your stack of images into Osirix, and then you basically select them, go to export to JPEG. And that's as simple as that. If you need to anonymize them, you can strip all the identifying information off. Next thing you need is PowerPoint and your stack of images. Uh, you need to make sure that the images aren't too big. So these images is, are of a CT brain series I've got. And what I often do is open them all in the finder. I might just do that. So just Command A, right click and just hit open. And uh, I'll get rid of that one. So this is all your stack of images. And then you hit Command A again, select them all in the finder so you can see they're all selected and just go to Tools, Adjust Size, and I make them about 630 by 630 pixels. So that's a good size to make the file size not too big, uh, but still have the good resolution so you can see what you're doing. So I've already resized these, so I'm not going to do it now. But essentially just close them down and uh, you've got all your images in a uh, finder folder there. Next thing you need is PowerPoint, so just open a new presentation. You need a blank slide, and there's a little trick to this. You need to get rid of everything on the slide. So get rid of the text boxes, because you need a completely blank slide, and you'll see why in a minute. When you drop the images on, you need to select them all and uh, order an animation, and you don't want any text popping up, uh, getting in the way of your pictures. So next thing you do is go back to Finder, just select your entire stack of images, Command A, and I'll just slowly drag them across onto my PowerPoint slide. Takes a second for them all to load, and you can see they load in a stack, just one behind the other. I then just click off them, and then while you're hovering over that slide, or just click on the slide, hit Command A again, select all, and you can see you've actually selected that entire stack of images. You then go to Animations, Appear. You're applying this animation to that entire stack of images. And you can see over on the right here, all those images have come up on the side. So I just click on one of them, hit Command A, you select them all, and you go down to Timing, click on the, this empty start box here, and then just click over on Click. And you can see an arrow comes up next to every single picture there. So every image will show up in sequence every time you click your mouse or your slide uh, f clicker or if you slide your fing two fingers up and down the trackpad or roll the wheel on the mouse. So I'll just give you a demo of this now. And you basically just go into presentation mode or slideshow mode. Tap wants to get it going. And then this is me still on one single slide. I'm just scrolling back and forth through that stack of images really easily. You can pick one, you can hover your mouse over it, point things out, keep going, uh, and that's pretty much it. You can also do two fingers on the trackpad. Oops, it's popped off it because I was uh, too quick. So you can also do two fingers on the trackpad, which is quite a fast way to scroll through them, or you can use the scroll wheel on a mouse. Pretty straightforward. So I'll just hop out of that. I've just got another example here I can show you. This is a couple of different ones I've loaded up. So this is a soft tissue spinal window. So you can hear me tapping. I'm just tapping the buttons as I go through, back and forth, through the images. So that's pretty cool. And then on the next slide, as I get to the last picture in this one, it'll skip to the next slide. It takes a second to load because there's about 50 pictures in this one. There we go. So I'm just scrolling back and forth 
through that CT and these are all on one slide and I'm just either using the buttons or two fingers on the trackpad which goes a bit quicker. It's a bit harder to control that way. A little bit slower and more accurate if you just use the buttons. So look, there you go. That's how you do it. It's pretty straightforward. I hope you found that useful. I spent hours trying to figure out how to do this online. I could not find the answer to this problem anywhere. I even put jobs on Freelancer and Elance and Upwork, trying to get someone to build me a macro for PowerPoint for Mac to uh, try and get this to work and no one could figure it out. My brother-in-law works for Microsoft and he asked his mates they couldn't figure it out and it was just through trial and error and a lot of mucking around that I found the, found the answer. Just quickly, I am on a Mac. This is Microsoft PowerPoint for Mac version 15.13.1 it works on this version. I'm using uh, OS X Yosemite. So you can see 10.10.5. Uh, That's my system setup. Uh, if you've got something different, I cannot guarantee that this process will work, but it definitely works on this setup. So I hope you found that useful, guys. And uh, please feel free to ask any questions or leave any comments below.